really run like a professional film set. If I had had access to any of this equipment, boy, it would have changed everything for me. I've never had this many people share the same interests as me. Giving the opportunity to film in a workshop like this to students, I don't know, it's just like in high school, how do you get that? All of you are going to come up with your own creativity here and we're going to whittle it down, whittle it down, whittle it down, focus these ideas, turn them into a story. So we started with every student pitching about five ideas, which turned out to be more than a hundred ideas. Eventually voting on this idea about a person with a puppet on their hand who feels a little bit judged by society around them for walking around with this puppet on their hand. The second day we finally had the script. It's really fun to come and listen to the table read of the script. What they came up with the day before in an incredibly short turnaround and see the cool ideas that they've come up with. Melissa cuts into a runny yolk of fried egg with delight. She gives Doug a kiss. Perfect. What is that? Then we kind of started to break down what our job was and what we would entail. It was really fun to meet everyone in my group and kind of figure out like what we're doing to make the sock puppets and what we're, how we're going to dress the tiny home. We didn't know if it was going to be dressed or not. There we go. I got this advice from other people, just be a sponge and just absorb as much information as you can, and I feel like I've already gotten so far in just three days of shooting. It was a little nerve-wracking walking onto the set for the first time, especially the more complex sets like the tiny home or the parking lot, where you had a lot of moving parts. But I was also excited to be able to be in that leadership position, to be able to help run things and make sure things went smoothly. We had to cook eight eggs for the filming. At one point, we hadn't cooked enough eggs. So half of my group had to run to the kitchen, make more eggs. Even the middle school things matter so much and they will halt the entire production when you're not prepared. I think it's fun for the students to like see a room, we're gonna shoot it as one location, and then the next day we're gonna come back, redress it and change the angles and shoot it as a completely different location. That's movie making magic. My mentor, he was a great teacher. He explained when certain things should be done and why they should be done too. And honestly, I feel like a friendship almost. Everything's happening so fast that it sort of takes a second to really process like, wait, I'm like on a set right now. And I don't know, sometimes I just get like this burst of energy like, yes, I'm here. Bringing in a wide variety of people from across the district who are all in digital media programs, but obviously at different schools, they all provide a different aspect that just pushes our goal forward. Music changes everything and color correction changes everything, so that will be cool to watch evolve. I think what's really interesting is the way we're editing this. Everyone's editing their own version and no two versions are the same. This year in particular, we have a very strong music team with students that come in with some instrumental experience. And I think it's gonna show. Being in the music department, we obviously make the music for the film. We pretty much looked at the script and we tried to come up with themes through there. But since we got the picture for the film, it's made it a lot easier. Whenever there's something wrong with sound, it's the first thing people notice, but whenever it's perfect, nobody even like realizes something is wrong. So it's just something that leads the story forward as much as the lines and the actors. If you never get exposed to the fact that music making world exists or that the sound world portion of digital media even exists, how do you even know that that's even a career path or something you might have even been interested in? Kids come into these classes, their passions and their interests ignite and they find a pathway to a lifetime career. Many of the things that are learned in this experience to me are things that are intangible. You see them actually employed in a real world environment, it teaches so much that you don't get from a purely classroom setting. If in high school you get this type of experience, you know with certainty that you love it 
or maybe it's not for you. Every time a student comes to me and says, I didn't know what this was, and now that I know, I can absolutely see myself doing this. It's, it's heartwarming, it's, it's powerful. The actual screening is icing on the cake. Being able to see something you've worked on on a big theater screen is so huge. When you get to see that, there's like this shift in your brain and you think, I can do this kind of work.